Welcome back, and today will be kind of a review and kind of a topic video. I will be reviewing a certain sculpt of figure, and I will also be criticizing one, and then bringing up a topic for you guys to discuss in the comments, so like no one ever does because I don't get any comments. I don't even know why I bother anymore. Anyway, let's talk about this sculpt. No, not the Black Series, because this one's been along much longer than that. It is from the Vintage Collection. It is the sculpt of the Phase 1 and now the Phase 2 Clone Trooper sculpt. It is very well done for the Phase 1. I have made my point clear on the Phase 2 version of it before. I hate it. But for Phase 1, it knocked it out of the park. Everyone loves this sculpt. They use it on Fordo. They use it, or sorry, Clone Commander, or whatever the hell they call them. They use it on the Sergeant, and, you know, on the Lieutenant, and on the Cap... No, not on the Captain, but on the Commander, right? No, not on the Commander either. And that's where the complaining shall begin. You know, no, I'm going to complain first and then review a nice figure second, because I'm going to need to calm down. Alright, so let's get all these nice figures out of the way and talk about a slightly less nice figure. Not a bad figure, but a slightly less nice figure. These ones. From, I believe, 2002? I believe it's 2002. The sculpt, let's check his foot. It's the only proper way to tell. Are you kidding me? It doesn't even say. Oh, wait, no, it's on his back of his thigh. Thank God for that. I look even dumber than I normally do. And the lighting in here is absolutely atrocious. And got it, 2003. So this sculpt came from the good old year of 2003. They're still using it to this date. Well, last year at least. These two I got in my um, battle on Geonosis battle packs that came with three Jedi and a clone trooper. And this sculpt was also released with the new vintage collection gunship, which I now have two of, you know, taking space up in my house. But what I find amazing is that we have gotten this figure in that atrocious putrid color first before we get the nice red and yellow one. Ketchup and mustard. We didn't get them before relish. Imagine that. None of which I can eat because I have a horrible, horrible stomach. Why? I, I just don't understand the mindset of this. We have... This sculpt, I believe, came out in 2011, maybe, for the new clone trooper. And they have not gotten these two out yet. They barely got the other one out. I mean, we got the plain white cologne, yes, which I don't have yet because it cost a fortune on eBay and I don't feel like paying money, you know, for real things like toys. But I, I just don't understand the mindset of not putting these guys on, a, one, a vintage collection card, two, a black series card, or three, in my collection yet. Ugh. See, now I'm all angry. Not to say this is a bad sculpt at all. I mean, it's got prime articulation, almost as good as the other one, but they just kind of look stocky. You know, they look... Like the children of clones trying to play dress em up for their local Halloween. Oh my... And they don't stand up as well. They kind of do, but not really. I mean, look at this one by comparison. It looks so much nicer and taller and better. Enough! And bring back our nice little background here to calm down with a nice soothing blue color. I'm not calm yet. Anyway, let's talk about the sculpt in general. We'll leave Fordo out of this because he has accessories and we don't want to bring those up because they're evil. This is the Black Series one. I bought two of them because I like to army build things, even though I'll never have as nice an army as the action figure expert or really anyone. But nonetheless, you know, that's not why we do things. It's not a competition. Until I win, then it is. No, not really. Uh, this is a great figure. Prime, one of the best the Black Series has to offer. I don't have the packaging, one, because I threw it out, and two, because I had to pack up all my extra boxes in other boxes because I'm moving to Florida. Oh, God, I'm going to die down there. Anyway... Great figure. You should buy many of them. The paint is excellent. They even got the little... I lied. They don't have the little red dot back there. Mm, that's very disappointing. Uh, but everything else about it's nice. It came with the blaster, as we expect. Um, articulation is prime. He can, you know, look like he's broken his hips. Great figure. Now, yeah, let's just talk about the articulation anyway, because this review is a little short. Ball-jointed neck, ball-hinged shoulders, elbows, wrists, a ball-jointed torso, ball-hinged hips, knees, and ankles. This! That was really, really loud. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. Oh my god, it's like 1 in the morning, too. Why am I doing... Oh, whatever. This is the way you make clone troopers, Hasbro. I don't know why. Or, no, this is the way you make action figures, Hasbro. I don't know what you guys are smoking over there to be, you know, making the mission series in the Rebels line with such atrociousness. But they are, and it's absolutely god-awful. And I refuse to have it in my home, even though that TIE Fighter pilot looks pretty sweet. But, you know... The fact that he can only Hitler salute and march in a goose step fashion is a little disappointing. Um, yeah, I would stick to the Vintage Collection if I were you guys. Anyway, 
That's about it for these guys. They're all fantastic, even the ones that don't quite exist. Oh, right, and they, look, oh, it's the red one. It's almost the red, whatever. Yes, clone troopers. They're fun to buy in bulk. They also use the Commander Neo for this sculpt, which is also a much better figure. All right, I'm done with this babbling on. Five more minutes of my life wasted, and yours now. Bye.